Tervist lugu peetud koosolijad. Minu nimi on Indrek Tarand ja minu ülesõnne on tänane päev sisse juhatada. Vaadates saali poole menub mulle kohe üldtuntud lugu kolmest vibukütist, kellest esimene lasi poisi pealael oleva õuna pooleks ja ütles laske kohalt lahkudes I am Wilhelm Tell. Teine tegi sama ja ütles, I am Robin Hood. Kolmas mees lasi noole poisile pähe ja ütles, I am sorry. Nii ka mina olen see kolmas mees täna. Ja mul on tõesti kahju, et me oleme ühiskondlikest protsessidest selle ürituse korraldamisel mõne võrra maha jäänud, sest kui me mõtlesime eelmise aasta jõulu eel, et mida võiks Euroopa Parlamendi liige Eestis kõrgelda, töötamise nädalal panustada, siis tundus uudne mõte, et prooviks arutada akta nimelise lepingu üle ja täna on selline tunne, et rong on jaamast õige kaugel juba ära sõitnud, kui meie vagun kohale pääseb. Aga tegelikult ma loodan, et nii ei ole ja see arutelu, mis on eri inimeste ja ühingute ja institutsioonide vahel nüüd toimunud, võiks veel edasi minna. Ma arvan, et need, kes meid mugavalt videolingi vahendusel jälgivad ilma kodust välja tulemata, saavad ka aru, et tegelikult ei ole ühe või kahe rahva kogunemise või meeleavaldusega asisugugi lahendatud, vaid me peame nende küsimustega edasi minema. Ja nüüd ma olen veelgi rohkem sorri, sest ma tänase ürituse kammertooni mõttes otsisin välja ühe teksti, millest ma mõned katket tahaks ette lugeda, aga kuna tekst on inglise keelnest ja peate ära kannatama tugevalt Soome ugri hääldusega esitust. Teksti autoriks on noveeli füüsikapreemia laureaat Robert Laughlin ja tema kirjutab meile nii. When we are young, we learn that knowledge is a beautiful, logical thing that anyone can use as he likes, provided, of course, he has the patience to read and think. This idea partly comes from parents, who never tire of inventing reasons for us to study more, excel in exams, and so forth. But it's also something we usually conclude on our own, Most of us decide in young adulthood that the ability to reason and understand is natural, human and rightfully ours. Unfortunately, this conclusion is erroneous. While some information is indeed available for free and even forced upon us in school, most economically valuable knowledge is private property and secret. Once you accept that the issue might be economic rather than cultural, you are forced to rethink some legal fundamentals. Refusing to apply traditions of free speech and free inquiry to things because they are, their property is different from doing, so, from doing so because they don't matter. A tiresome discussion about technical details suddenly becomes a deadly serious one about the conflict between personal freedom and property rights. The freedom in question is not the familiar one of political speech, instituted to discourage the consolidation of power by governments, but the freedom to learn and understand things relevant to making your living. In the past, nobody worried about protecting this freedom because the major problem of the day were political and technical property issues didn't obstruct personal economic betterment. But now we have entered the information age, a time when access to understanding has become more important in many instances than access to physical means. The growing efforts of governments, corporations and individuals to prevent competi competitors from knowing certain things that they themselves know has led to a stunning expansion of intellectual property rights and the strengthening of the state classification powers. 
the Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 1998 and the European Union Copyright Directive of 2001, for example, make it a crime to circumvent anti-piracy measures, read encrypted communication, and distribute code cracking devices, tell other people about it. Our society is sequestering knowledge more extensively, rapidly, and thoroughly than any before it in history. Indeed, the information age should probably be called the age of amnesia, because it has meant, in practice, a steep decline in public accessibility of important information. This is particularly ironic given the rise of the internet, which appears to spectacularly increase access to information, but actually does not. The increasingly conservative legal interpretation of invention as theft echoes our society's growing ambiguity over how it feels about technical power. We sympathize with the young genius who, in an impetuous act of reason, breaks through the confusion and makes a glorious contribution to knowledge. We also fear the genetic manipulation, nuclear conflict, usurpation of airplanes by terrorists, job export, and so forth, that his contribution might facilitate. Unable to decide which is more important to us, we label his act as criminal. Meanwhile, the wiser heads are sorrowful and silent, for they understand the full significance of this moment. It marks the final terrible demise of enlightenment optimism. Descartes' brave declaration, I think, therefore I am, has become a satire. We have collectively resolved to relinquish our intellectual rights to vote them out of existence on the grounds that they are too inconvenient and frightening to live with. The technical nature of the banned knowledge is irrelevant. Knowledge is knowledge. Once we accept that, uh, some of it is too important for ordinary people to have, we are no longer at Orwell's doorstep, but sitting together in his parlor discussing proper placement of the furniture. That's not the way many of us wanted it, but that's the way it is. Nenda kirjutas siis füüsik 2008. aastal. Ja need lõigud lugesin ma sellepärast ette, et nendest inspireerituna tänase ettevõtmise kokku palusingi. Ja ma loodan, et nüüd algavates ettekanetes eelisemas paneelis me mõnedele esitatud paradoksidele saame veelgi uusi lähenemisi. Eesmärgiks ei ole meil siit õhtul lahkuda kindlast teadmises, et nii nagu meie täna ütlesime või keegi meist täna ütles, nii peab tulevikus olema, aga eesmärgiks oleks kindlasti uua üks järjekordne pinnas kindel tugipunkt nendele, kes meie nimel on kutsutud ja seatud otsustama Eesti Vabariigi ühinemisi rahvusvaheliste lepetega. Tahaks veelkord juba ette kõiki tänada, kes soostusid siin osalema ettekannete või muude viisidelga. See on minu jaoks hindamatu väärtusega.